What is up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the Hydra Alien car mounting system from Tilta. And we're just gonna do a little unboxing, let's call it. I'm just gonna go over what's in the system that you get because that's one thing I was really confused about when I bought it because there wasn't a ton of information about it. So uh, let's just get into it. <music> What is up everybody? My name is James and this is The Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. If these are topics you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We also have a forum, check it out in the description. So today we're gonna talk about the Tilta Hydra Alien car mounting system. It is a suction cup car mounting system for the DJI RS2 um, and it works awesome uh i'm just going to go over today what's kind of inside the box and a little bit of how it works but i am going to make a separate video on how to use it um, and some tips and some tricks about the system itself uh, so let's just get into it so first it is a very inexpensive system for what you're getting i believe it's 1300 or 1299 usd and it is so much better than my previous system that I paid $1,400 for. I'll try to post pictures or videos if I can find some, but I just had the rig wheels car mounting system. Essentially, it just used cables for a spring and damper, which isn't really ideal because cables really only act as a spring. So it just didn't work well. You could have went to Home Depot and probably made the same kit for a hundred bucks, maybe, if you really wanted to. It, it was, Okay, so first you get this beefy metal case that it comes in already. That was my first sign that I was getting a good deal. This, it comes in a very nice case. Uh, has three latches and it has locking keys. The keys come inside. I don't know how well the locks would work, but you get a, a nice metal case. You open it up and it's all organized and nice looking. Um, you have your suction cups, your mount, your arms, and your damper spring arm, uh, along with a little bit of accessories that I didn't actually know it came with. So that was a pretty nice surprise. So let's start with big and then move to the little and then the accessories. So first off, you have all of your mounting arms. Um, so it comes with different types. Some of them have a double attachment system on it. One of them only has just one. One of them is just the arm and this detaches here. And then lastly, we have just a straight long arm. Um, and one of the cool things I found is that it actually has a cable routing system in it. Um, so you can route a cable. So the nice thing is, is it comes with a nice little manual, but it also has a bunch of pictures all over it of different configurations and stuff to use this for. I mean, you can connect it to the side of your car, the back of your car, the front of your car, the top of your car. There's so many possibilities with attaching this to your car. Uh, so, and they have a lot of the configurations in this book, so you can kind of use this as a reference and that's pretty nice to have. So let's go over the next thing, which is our actual mounting system to the gimbal. Uh, so this will connect to the friction arm, which we will get into. And these actually come off. So in reality, it's pretty small. It looks like this. Um, this L bracket also comes off and then you have a bunch of little dampers or springs, whatever you wanna call them. They're just cables to help it from a little bit of minor movements. Uh, and then on the bottom, we have a quick release plate, which is how you can quickly take off your gimbal. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. And then you have, you know, the sides here, um, and that's what these are here. So it comes with a bunch of weights and these weights actually go onto the sides here. And the reason you would do that is because when you attach one of these V-mount battery plates, and then you attach your battery to it, uh, you're gonna have a lot of weight on one side. So you're gonna need some extra weight on the other side. So basically what I did is I just found the average weight of my V-mount battery. And then these are each uh, 200 grams. And then I just kind of tried to equal it out so that there was a similar weight on each side. It comes with, believe, eight weights. And then you can also just put two V-mount batteries on if you really wanted to. And then you have your head. I would call this a head. 
Um, you can configure it in a little bit different ways, but that's really the gist of the head. I would say this is probably one of the most important parts, which is our camera arm. Uh, so this is going to connect to your system and then your head I just showed you will connect to the other end and this is going to be your spring and your damper. You can probably see in there there is a spring uh, and then there's a damper on this side uh, which is like a shock and strut system in your car. Uh, so what will happen is it'll bounce up and down uh, to prevent shaking on your gimbal when you are hitting big or small bumps and I find this to be the most beneficial part in any car rig system because you will hit a lot of bumps while you're driving and this is essential. Um, there are some adjustment knobs on it so you can adjust it uh, to be stiffer or weaker or the damper you can also dampen less or more so that it's harder to compress or easier to compress to kind of absorb the shock uh, less or more. I guess that's the easiest way to explain it without going into detail. Uh, so this is a pretty awesome thing, which is the main reason why I bought this system, is to have that in my system. And then it also comes with a mounting plate for the DJI RS2. Um, and you don't need to use this. If you do have the system from DJI, the expansion base kit, you can use that. Uh, however, I would recommend using the Tilta one just because it's easy. Uh, and it even comes with the little attachment to make sure even if your gimbal comes loose with the screw attachment, uh, it will not come off. Kind of like the expansion base kit also has this. Um, and then I already have the base plate attached to this just to make my life easier when I'm setting it up. This only has one input of power in the rear, whereas the expansion base kit has uh, a couple of different spots. And then last but not least, we have our suction cups. Uh, so the suction cup has an articulating arm on the back of it so it can go each way uh, so you can get the precise uh, angle of the suction. Uh, and it comes with one large suction cup and then two smaller suction cups. Um, and you can use these in configurations that work for you. Now let's get into the accessories. Uh, first, we're going to have this uh, strap. Uh, so this strap is going to be used for, in, from what I saw in the instructions and everything, to give a safety secure strap on your system in case the suction does come loose. Uh, you will have the ability to not have it fall on the ground. Um, I personally use a different strap just because there's just metal clinginess and it's heavy, um, but it does come with a strap. It also comes with an Allen wrench, uh, which there are a few Allen wrench points on this. Uh, and I use this smaller one here to tighten down these knobs. Uh, and then it comes with a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. So this is a part I really didn't expect to get in my kit, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, so first we have some extra tools, screws, etc. Uh, you have your power cable. This is a D-tap power to uh, the regular attachment for the base. Um, so it comes with these little suction cups and basically what these do is suction to the side of your car or the window and then you can actually put a cable inside in case you wanted to use the grip controller which you have to buy from DJI separately but uh, the cable that comes with that kit is super long, so I use this uh, inside my car and I use these little suctions to connect the cable from the gimbal to the controller. It's pretty nice. So basically you have everything you need to set this system up, but all in all, uh, it's a pretty awesome kit. It comes with literally everything you need, including some attachments for the gimbal, uh, for the vibrations and everything else. So. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any questions about this kit, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but that's really it for today, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.